We love to put back money into our business because we treat this as a very long-term business. I don't treat this business as like a one-hit wonder kind of stuff. I'm in it for very long term. Why do you invest so much back into your business where other agents are always asking to cut costs? I think that this question relates to how much should we spend as a real estate agent in our own business. So as mentioned in our previous episode, there were two episodes that we talked about how much that typically a property agent usually spends. So usually a, a typical property agent has costing relating to probably like your subscriptions that you need to pay, your property portals. You also need to do up some marketing materials. You need to run ads consistently. You need to create content. You need to do prospecting. You need to print materials. You need to run ads on social media and stuff like that. So I think importantly is that you got to ask yourself how serious are you in your business and how do you intend to run it? Do you run it with a business kind of mindset or do you run it with more like a solo printer kind of mindset? So some people kept their marketing expense to probably 10%. Some people kept it to 20, 30%. Of course, if you ask me, I invest a lot of money back into our business. So our strategy is that we love to put back money into our business because that's where all these equipments come from. We pay a lot for our equipments. We are constantly upgrading our equipments. We treat this as a very long-term business. I don't treat this business as like a one-hit wonder kind of stuff. I'm in it for very long term. Same as my guys, we look at this with a 10, 20 year kind of perspective because we're in it together to enjoy the entire process while we are helping our clients and helping the entire business to grow. We have fun doing it. So we love investing back into our business. I think this is the fun part that we enjoy. So this is just our own point of view. So it really depends on where you are right now. If you are an agent that is doing work singularly, Probably you might want to strategize maybe allocating about 10-20% in your business and then see how it goes. And we always believe in the red light green light approach. That means test out a little bit first on putting in some money for marketing and prospecting. Close a couple of deals first. That is called the green light. So when you close deal, that's called green light. When you spend money, that's called red light. So use a red light, green light kind of approach. It's every time it's red, 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 and you don't get to close deal successfully, then you got to be very cautious. You got to be more careful and you got to really see, hey, is there something that I'm not doing correctly in my processes? Am I not serving my clients correctly? Why is it that I can't sell the properties effectively? Am I spending money on something that is unnecessary? So things like this, you got to look at it as a business point of view and really sit down and see based on the red and green light kind of approach, how are you spending your money back into the business? Is it really helping the business to grow? Is it really helping your clients? to fulfill their objectives. Importantly is to see where you are. Everybody has different life situations. You probably could be a new agent, experienced agent, but importantly, I think don't compare with other people. The best thing that we can do is that we compare ourselves to where we were last year, compare ourselves to where we were last month and two months back. Let me get you a book. All right, so read this book. It's by Jordan Peterson. I completed this book a couple of months back called 12 Rules for Life and Antidote to Chaos. It's a great book. There was a chapter inside to talk about comparison and how comparison is so toxic, especially to entrepreneurs. Because all of us have different life situations. We are born in different countries. We are born in different time and age, different family backgrounds, different childhood. I think it's really important to have empathy for one another. We shouldn't self-sabotage our own success and business. And important is to look at ourselves as being a better version of ourselves over the next one week, over the next one month, six months, one year, five years, 10 years. And to compare ourselves to who we were yesterday, that means did we grow better to be a better person? Did we grow to a different level professionally and personally or as a better husband, as a better father or as a better salesperson? So I think importantly is to compare ourselves with who we were yesterday, last month, last year. So check out this book. I think it's really great. All right, so welcome back to our PLB Sales X series. And uh, this series again is dedicated to the real estate sales professionals in Singapore. And so if you are a practicing real estate salesperson in Singapore, I think this series will definitely help you. And it's just our small way of paying it forward, uh, being in the industry for 14 years. 
uh, property investors. Of course, um, we are very focused on helping our clients sell their properties uh, by creating unique content. But at the same time, we have a crazy vision. We want to benefit the professional industry along the way as we grow together in the business. This is just our small little way of paying it forward and we hope that you enjoy this series and uh, we hope to answer more questions based on our experience and our own opinions. And so, um, see you. All right, so uh, we're going to do the first question. It's called, what books do you read? Okay, so uh, either Josephine or Jolene will read out this question. Okay, let's start. Melvin, why are you asking me to do this? Melvin. So Melvin, why do you do team up?